Just the two of us, Mike. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. All right, now it's just one of us. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Sports Office, episode 12, a dirty dozen of Welcome to the Sports Offices, Mike. It's a lot. I'm surprised we've made it this far. Do, do you surprised feel... nobody's cut us off by now. <laughs> if you'll notice, we are actually down a human being. She is actually at the NFL Combine, Romy Bean. She was able to give us some behind-the-scenes footage of actually how boring the Combine is. Now, have you been to the Combine Oh, before? yeah. Okay. Oh, it, yeah. A lot of people think that it's like, oh, you get to like watch all the workouts and all that stuff. No, you absolutely don't. It's strictly like NFL personnel that only gets to see it, right? Yeah, you're pretty much in a room with like a bunch of podiums and then sometimes the players grace you with their presence. <laughs> so here's Romy with uh, some behind the scenes so stuff. So we are in the hallway there area is. ish at the Lindsay combine Joy. and uh, oh, we're just waiting all the for the There's scrums yeah. Nikki all about. Me. Everyone's getting their, their GMs and their coaches, but yeah, there's, there's no players. There's no working out here. We're waiting for Vic Fangio. He already talked on the podium, but now he's going to talk to us separate. Then we're going to get John Elway. And basically, that's what we're doing. We're just running around like Looney Tunes, um, <laughs> chickens with our heads cut off, trying to get as many guys on the podium. Arnie Stapleton was by the bench press. Why weren't we getting that? Come on, Arnie. Get on there. Get us some reps. Five. Get it going, Arnie. Right. Waiting for John Elway. Waiting for John Elway. There's the podium. Look, it's the Stanford section. There's John Lynch. Oh yeah, just John Lynch. <laughs> and then, uh, so I was uh, impressed. I didn't know like the media big, space big was that large. Yeah. Room. Where we're gonna, where we're gonna There's cut Dave. up Dave and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Hammering away. Uh, this is the closest action we get to seeing the guys on the field, isn't it? <laughs> this is it. This, this is, is it. room. This is what you get. This is it. Come all the way to Indy to sit in a big old banquet room. Love it. All right, Mike, we're going to move on. We're going to talk some Nuggets abs. At the beginning of the year, I thought the Avalanche had the best chance to go furthest in, in their respective season this year. As it stands today, I'm starting to lean more towards the Nuggets. We're going to bring out a new coin flip segment. This is a yes or no coin that's going to decide your argument for you. Oh, wow. So I don't even right. care if you think that the Nuggets are going further than the Avalanche. The coin will decide yes, the Nuggets are going further than the Avalanche, or no, the Nuggets are not going further than the Avalanche. And I've got to argue the and point. You I'm have ready. to argue the point. So no, the Nuggets are not going as far as the Avalanche in the playoffs this year. Why? Because they won't be able to beat the Clippers or the Lakers in a seven game series. Oh. And the way it stacks up right now, looking at the standings, they're probably gonna get the Clippers in the second round. And I think that they will get to the Western Conference semis, much like they did last year. Still very respectable, but I think the Avalanche will at least get to the Western Conference Finals. And so, no, because Ryan made me argue the point, <laughs> the Nuggets will not go further than the Avalanche. The Avs, they can't seem to not be injured. Uh, the Nuggets were at where the Avs were earlier in the season. It wasn't that far uh, ago that they were playing with seven players against Utah. I will be interested to see what the Avs can do not full strength for, I mean, Ranton's gonna be out for how long? Or another couple weeks. Another couple weeks. So, uh, I mean, this is, they're chasing St. Louis and they definitely have a lead, but uh, I think, yeah, I just think the, the depth is possibly gonna affect them. I think you're wrong because you made me tell you that <laughs> you're wrong. CU basketball will win more than two tournament games. Oh my yes goodness. Yes or, okay. okay? Oh, another no. 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 The CU Buffs will not win more than two tournament because games. Because they're too wishy-washy. Okay. They I, beat I teams. They beat teams like literally on a Thursday night. They'll beat somebody good, and then they will fail to show up on a Saturday. I think the most recent occurrence of that was USC and UCLA, and you're just like, what is going on here with this team? And, and earlier in the year, you were like, okay, they'll get it figured out. They still haven't gotten figured out, and that will not work in the tournament. I think they will go more than two. I, the coin thinks they will go more than two because <laughs> this is a team that gets up for the competition. And once they get to tournament time, I mean, this is this has been the Tad Boyle team for the past couple years. Come Pac-12 tournament time, they're always in the championship and they always somehow find a way to like get to uh, the tournament or at least pretty far in the NIT. I will not be surprised if you see the Colorado Buffaloes in the Sweet 16 this year. They have the talent to get there. They have no that doubt talent. about that. That's the point. All right, Mike, moving on to some behind the scenes vlog stuff. Now, uh, I have been on vacation recently. There hasn't been much to vlog, Did but- Did you vlog your vacation? No, God, no. It would have been a time lapse over five days and you would have seen how much I didn't. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity to right some wrongs. When we were doing this during the Broncos season, we had our first technical error of the year. 
that prevented us from uploading the Buffalo Bills travel vlog. And so that's the behind the scenes we're gonna show you today. We're gonna bring some back. And we're it. gonna relive some of this Buffalo Bills. God, I'm already cold Bills. just looking at the clip. Oh my gosh, yes. We knew what we were in for when we first got there and we saw uh, uh, this man right here. I mean, this was, this was Bill's Mafia. That kind of set the tone. <laughs> that set the tone. OJ Simpson jersey, thong, fur coat. You'd heard that the people in <laughs> Buffalo were a little bit different, that they were a little out there on game day, and then you're walking to the that's tailgate the lot, and that's the first guy we see. That's and the it guy. was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're he, living he, up to he, the hype. Uh, and so we get there, and then uh, we get part of this, the circle of wagons. They had you stand in the middle. And they circled. Yeah, yeah circled the wagons. It was a little slow going. Uh, how brave you were to stand in the middle. Yeah. You never know what's gonna happen <laughs> when the wagons start circling. I thought for sure a shot would have been offered, but no, you just stand in the middle and the car goes around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this man in his backseat of fun. The Red Pinto tailgate. The Red Pinto tailgate, awesome people. So you wanna explain this? What did he say to you when he was like? They just have their that. version of memorabilia. This is milk after about 30 years? 30 years? Milk from yeah, 30 like years ago. Milk? Milk? It was. Yeah, it was milk. Milk? So when Fritz Merlis was talking about Buffalo versus San Francisco, he said Buffalo's beer and chicken wings, and uh, San Francisco's wine and tofu. So he bought tofu. That's tofu from. Once Merlis played 88, he left. <laughs> tofu <laughs> from 88. That's disgusting. Eventually you'll find out. Awesome right. at the same time. And then, so we're walking by, and then all of a sudden it's just a skeleton waving. Hey, welcome Austin. to Buffalo. Hey, welcome to Buffalo. Denver's win record is as good as John Elway's record drafting quarterbacks. Ouch. <laughs> <That's awesome>. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, well, what do you got to say now? Wait till you play Drew Locke, guys. Did you, where did you eat this bacon again? <laughs> Mike, you're living your best life. Bro, it's my beer, you your life. <laughs> I don't know. That must have been from the hood of a it car. From, I think they weren't they cooking stuff in like mailboxes. Yeah, they stuff? had a they had a filing cabinet where they were cooking their pizza. <laughs> right, right. I think they had a saw where they. Yeah, were, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, was a, it was definitely like one of the wood saws. Yes. Yeah. Fun people. Yes. Fun people. Yes. Bills Good Mafia. times. Thank, Thank you, Bills Mafia. And Red Pinto tailgate. All right, moving on, Mike, to the hats off segment. This is where we get to give some love to some people that should have gotten more love than they did this week. Do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll start. you go. Do we have a DU hat? Ooh, no we don't. Okay. So we'll go generic, generic at the moment, but we do have to get a DU hat. Anna Zanusko, DU golfer. She's gonna oh, be at the, yes. uh, she's gonna be playing at Augusta here in a couple weeks. And she shot a 61 the other day. Tied oh. for the lowest record uh, for a round in NCAA history. Freshman. 61. Freshman. Incredible. Man. Are you going double hats off? I'm going double hats in, off in, in honor Romy's of Romy. Honor. In Romy's honor. Gary Harris, yes. my man. I got to go to the Pistons game earlier this week, and I got to actually see Gary Harris for the first time, I think, this year as a Denver Nugget. Uh, he has been going through some stuff this year, man. I don't know what it is. It's just been, he's just been off, but I'll tell you what, against the Pistons, he looked like just an animal. Gary Harris, happy to have you back. The Nuggets need him to play well if they're gonna make a deep run in the playoffs too. I'm gonna give another hats off. Go to cbsdenver.com and start streaming CBSN now. Do it, Do and it. it's on like Roku and all the all the apps. Just go, go look for it. You can see us, you can see everyone here at CBS. It's your opportunity to see us 24 seven. We, we know you want it. What more could you want? What more could you want? <laughs>